What's up guys? This is my first attempt to to make some plasma. Uh, this is my vacuum chamber. It's a glass cylinder with two aluminum discs. This is my vacuum pump. It's not a strong pump, but uh, I could make some plasma here. The vacuum gauge. And the circuit is like this. I have this variac. So I have the mains come here, come in here. The input. And then the output to a microwave oven transformer a capacitor and just a diode I can improve this circuit but this is my first, uh, first time so I made this very simple just to test it ok so I'm gonna turn up Turn on the, the vacuum pump and uh, we can follow here the pressure. Oops. Okay, the pressure. Alright, so making some uh, vacuum inside the chamber and now we can see the numbers here this is microns so I'm gonna stop the camera and I'm gonna record again when I reach uh, below 150 or something okay Okay, now we are 138 microns, still dropping, but I think uh, we can turn the plasma on right now. So, I'm gonna put some uh, voltage here, we can follow here the voltage. This voltage is applied to the, the this disc and this one, okay, we have positive there, negative below. So, 100, 200, 300 volts, we're gonna see some plasma around, oh no, we can see some plasma, we have, uh, we have some spikes, this is because the, the pressure is not quite good enough, we have a uh, 160 now, we have a, a raise on the, the pressure probably because of the system and we have these spikes but uh, as the pressure drops we stop seeing this so we're gonna adjust the voltage so we don't have too, too many spikes I think now it's okay I don't know if you can see the plasma so we're gonna turn off the lights There you go. Now we can see better. It's a nice blue light from from chamber. It's a pretty simple system. But now I I'm gonna use this vacuum and uh, the the plasma chamber uh, to develop a sputtering coater. So I can try to make some solar cells using different materials. So that's it. If you have any questions, please be my guest. Thank you guys.